Hey guys, so iOS 17.4 is now officially out to the general public, and I'm sure most of you guys have already updated to the latest update 17.4. However, in this video, I want to talk about battery life. I wanted to share with you guys my personal tips and recommendations of features and options you can enable or disable in order to improve battery life or to stop battery drain entirely on your device running the latest 17.4. So let's go ahead and dive right into this one. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the home application and HomeKit devices. Now, this one may seem logical, but not many users really think about this. You want to make sure that all your home smart devices are up to date, okay? So if you have security system, if you have smart locks and things like that, make sure that they're running the latest firmware and also your HomePods, make sure are up to date. You can update your HomePods by going into the Home app, going to the three dots at the top, Go into home settings, scroll down, and then you'll find software updates for HomePods. Make sure that your HomePods are running the latest HomePod OS 17.4 and all your home smart devices are running the latest firmware as well. As I noticed throughout the past couple of weeks, having issues with my security system here in the studio was causing battery drain. So make sure you take a look at HomeKit. This is something that not many users really think about. Now, just recently, a lot of new carrier update bundles began rolling out after iOS 17.4 release. So if you haven't updated your carrier settings just yet if your iPhone has not updated automatically you can always do that manually by going into settings jumping into general and jumping into the about section if you do get a pop-up on the center of your screen to update your carrier settings of course make sure you update your carrier settings now not everyone will get a carrier bundle update but if you do of course you want to make sure you update another thing I always recommend is to update your applications manually jump into the app store go into your avatar swipe down to refresh and make sure that all your apps are up to date even if you have automatic updates make sure you check manually because sometimes those automatic updates do not kick in instantly so you want to make sure that all your apps are fully compatible and you update your carrier settings for better battery life on your iphone running ios 17.4 now there's two additional options i want to talk about that worked for me over the past couple of months and weeks of testing ios 17.4 and you may want to give these a try yourself now the first thing i want to talk about is the always on display so if you have an always on display iphone you want to go into display and brightness you want to scroll down right there it is always on display click into that right here where it says show wallpaper i always turn this option off and this improves the battery life of my iphone when on standby so if this option is on you see when i lock my iphone i get the wallpaper in the background and then it comes to life when i wake it up just like so but if you turn this off then you get an entirely traditional always on display and this means your battery life will improve slightly. It has for me over the past couple of weeks running iOS 17.4. So you may want to give that one a try. So turn off show wallpaper on the lock screen there for always on display. Now, another option that I've noticed works for me as well is under the cell service options right here. Under cell data options, we have voice and data. We have 5G standalone. Now, not everyone has this option, but if you have this option and this option is enabled for you, I recommend you turn it off at least for the meantime because what this will do is it will use 5g and only 5g for all cell activities so when you're on facetime and things like that you get better video quality and things like that but if you're in your home wi-fi will do just fine and if you're traveling this can actually drain the battery of your iphone as it is trying to do everything with 5G. So this has worked for me as well. If you want to give that one a try, make sure you turn it off and see what the battery life looks like if you're still having issues with battery drain on your iPhone running the latest iOS 17.4. And these are just some of the tips and recommendations of things you should look into in order to prevent any battery drain or fix any battery drain issues on your iPhone running iOS 17.4. Thank you for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.